Is Bagel the ChatGPT 4.0 killer that we've been waiting for? And when I say Bagel, I'm talking about a new AI model by ByteDance. Yes, the same people that make TikTok, they released an open source model called Bagel, and it is absolutely wild. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can access it completely free, and I'm gonna give you a bunch of different use cases that I have tested. We're gonna look at what works really well and what doesn't work as well. So let's get going. We have Bagel here, and I'll have a link in the description below for you but you can see here it is open source they have a github and you can access all of this and again it is all completely free and this is a multimodal understanding and generation and i'm going to show you what that actually looks like with some real examples so on their website here it's actually pretty cool they have like this demo you can click which you're going to get a page like this and i've been playing around with it with all sorts of different generations we can click the big orange new conversation button it will give you a chat name i've just kind of compiled my chat names based off different samples of things i've been trying so let's start off with thinking here so there's a little toggle here it says think mode and we can toggle this on and off and it will actually show you exactly what it was thinking when it created whatever you asked so here i said a car made of small cars so this is the image that it created so we have our car made of a bunch of small cars and it doesn't look terrible it's pretty decent for a very simple prompt we then gave it this image here and i said can you display how the fabric would appear unrolled so this is how it'll look unrolled did it do a good job i'm not entirely sure i think there's more color variance here but okay ish but it's going to get a lot better in these examples. So let me show you the next one here. So we have composition and I said a professional and attractive white blonde news anchor delivers the evening broadcast. She is dressed in a smart business suit. Her hair is perfectly styled. The news set is modern and sleek, glowing screen in the background, graphics, blah, blah, blah. Here she is. And we can see her here. And then the follow-up prompt is to make her giving a newscast on the beach in a red bikini because we need something for the thumbnail. That's why you clicked here. So we have one, we have two, it's the same lady, literally just in a new setting. So we can just add a extra follow-up prompt here and we can make her do whatever we want. We can also flip between language output and image output. And we also have this parameter so we can adjust output ratios and sampling and all of that. And again, this is completely free. So you can generate as many as you want. I remind you to subscribe, I cover AI on a daily basis, and you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest AI. The next example, I'm actually gonna show you off their website because I cannot get this to run. And I might be doing it wrong and if someone figures it out let me know in the comments below but they start off with this image here and it says after 40 seconds move forward and then there's this like generation where it is generating different clips and it is literally moving forward and then you can actually see it continuously moving forward generating the next scene and then they have this next one uh it's here somewhere the street so it's going to move left so you can see this is what it looks like and it's actually generating it moving left off the street and it's making all these different little clips to make kind of like a animated gif or you can kind of see what's happening i cannot get this to work on my attempt Hey, it's your favorite part of the video where we use AI Dana to generate her in a new scene. So this time around, I said, help me generate a 3D PVC figure based off the image, which is placed in a plastic box. So it is processing. If there is a cue, it will actually show you up here beside the title of whatever your chat name is. So it has no cue right now. So it should be able to generate a little bit quicker. And it is not quite as fast as Gemini, which I think is much faster, but it seems to be slightly quicker than the free version of ChatGPT. So you can see here, she has been generated and it looks pretty good. So let's try one more. We're gonna try another 3D figure prompt here. So generate a 3D action figure model based on the photo of the woman, place the action figure on a wooden table, set against a seaside beach background with vibrant colors, creating an overall bold and simulating visual impact. So we're giving it a lot to work with this time around we're going to see how it can take the entire prompt and kind of bring it all together and let's see how much of it it follows to modify our original image here and we can see what it's came back with here she is here's the beach side on the wooden table it did a pretty solid job in our next example here we're going to attempt to edit the mona lisa so she took a selfie on a ship in the middle of the ocean so we have the mona lisa here and this is what it thinks the mona lisa would look like if she was 
on a boat taking a selfie. The boat is a little bit busted here, as you can see, uh, but does this look like the Mona Lisa? Can you see the resemblance? Let me know in the comments below if you think it did a good job or not. I'm going to go with no. Something a lot of these models struggle with is text. Here we have a prompt that says she is holding a sign that says subscribe. It is just generating real quick for us. So are we in the camp that we give it credit for spelling subscribe correctly or do we fault it for adding this random person into the photo? So yes, we have AI Dana on the left. I don't know who this is. That's an interesting one. Who is the lady on the right? And let's flip to language output and let's see what it says. I'm really curious to what it comes back with. The lady on the right is not identical from the image provided. Where did she come from? The image shows two individuals holding a sign that says subscribe. It's not possible to determine where they came from based on the images alone. Well, you put her in there. If you notice, you can flip between image output and language output pretty quick. So here in this example, we have a math equation. I basically just said solve for X. We have language output and it is able to give us the answer for X. And we can give it follow-up prompts. We can turn on think mode and say, try again, but show the steps and it will go through the process for us. It'll break it down. We can actually see what it's thinking, how it's thinking about it, how it's solving the question. So here is the multimodal at play. We can see what it's thinking here and it says here are the steps on how to solve it. So we're able to give it this question and we can get an answer. So let's just create one new conversation. I wanna show you this one here. So how can I make this? And we have given it a picture of an apple pie. It does not have any other type of information, just this photo and says, how do we make this? So it is able to look at the image, recognize it and then say, hey, this is how we are able to make this. So it came back with our answer. Here's all the thinking, but it also gives us apple pies. It tells us how to make it. It gives us instructions, ingredients. Here's the steps of how to make it. It says brush with eggs. So the question is, is this the ChatGPT 4.0 killer? And you guys can let me know in the comments below. I know in some areas it is just as good as 4.0 and in other areas, probably not as good. I think considering it is free and a small model, which I'm gonna show you in just a sec, the size of the model, I think it is absolutely amazing what is possible right now. And the progress of all this stuff is phenomenal. It is open source and it is only 7 billion active parameters or 14 billion total. So it is a super small model, relatively speaking. So you can actually take this model, run it locally if you wanted, and you can also modify it. There's a lot of options available with this model. And I think the fact that it is open source is pretty cool. Play around with it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can get the little animation thing working like I showed. I could not get it working. Love to know how to do it. Let me know. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe for more AI content. Leave a like on the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free, just come and see. At FranklinAI.com, where you're meant to be.